welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question of put forces round 918d4 which is odd one out so the question states that you are given three digits a b c two of them are equal but third one is different from the other two find the value that occur exactly once so here we have the input as the number of test cases and each test case contains three digits a b c two of these digits are equal but third one is different from other two so we need to output the different one in this case so let's see at the examples first is 1 2 2 next is 4 3 4 5 5 6 so you can see that two digits are repeated but one is exactly different from the other two so here it is 1 here it is 3 and here it is 6 and so on so uh, we need to identify the one which is different from the other two to get this thing what you need to do is simply you can take input of a b c after taking input of a b c you can compare each of them like i am comparing one with two then two with two and two with one like this so as soon I get different one, I will print that. So directly you can write if A equal equal to B. If A is equal to B, that means C is different. So that in that case, we will print C. And if B is equal to C, then we will print A. And if these two conditions are not satisfied, then we will print B. So it is directly the if else statement which you will run and you will get the answer. So this is the solution for the first question of code forces round 918. Now let's look at the second question. So now the second question states not quite Latin square. So here the question means there is a Latin square which is 3 cross 3 grid made up the letters a b c such that in each row the letters a b c each appear once and in each column also they appear once for example one possible latent square is shown below this is here also a is one time in the row as well as in the column same for b and same for c so we are given a latin square but one of the letters is replaced with a question mark find the letter that was replaced so we need to find the letter that is replaced with the question mark first we are given the input as t the number of test cases and three lines containing each character representing the latin square each character is one of abc or question mark so for each test case is a latin square with exactly one of the letters replaced with question mark and we need to find the letter that was replaced which means we need to identify the letter in the question mark so here if you see this is a b c c question mark b b c a so here if you uh, see a is missing so we output a in this case in other case you see b c a this row is complete in this row b is missing in this column as well b is missing so b is the output for next we see c will be the output so in this case you can first think about the a b c that is suppose you can go by each row or each column so the simplest method to find is just take one row like b c a take input row by row and in the row itself start identifying which alphabet is missing because we know the alphabet might be a or b or c so while iterating a row you check for the letters so in this row i am taking the second test case so in this row all the letters are there we move to second row that is 
C A question mark. Now while I iterate this row, I get to know that B is missing in this row. So I will print B and that is my output. So this is the I may say the easiest solution to this problem. Other solutions may also exist. So now let's see the code to both of these problems. So this one is the code for the first problem. As I said, we are taking A, B, C as input and comparing if A is equal to B, we are printing C because C is different from the other two. If B is equal to C, we print A, else we print B. So this is the solution for our first problem. Let's see the solution to the second problem. So for second problem, you simply take the range from T and then you take range till 3. Why 3? Because we have 3 letters A, B, C. And then you take the string input. So this string input will be the input of a row. And if A is not in the row, we print A. If B is not in any row, we print B. And if C is not in any row, we print C. So this is the solution to the second problem which I explained. So I hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.